I call them the green bell pepper of the tomato world, and I think people know what I'm talking about, right? So. Hi, I'm Eric Kim. I'm a food writer and a contributor to the New York Times. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make my quick kimchi. I call these recipes quick kimchi because you get to approximate the flavors of a fermented kimchi with vinegar. This video I think is about this really beautiful all-purpose dressing that you can use on many, many things. It's something that my mom would throw together all the time growing up and it's just a really nice way to eat fresh produce. A traditional kimchi gets its beautiful, you know, sharp flavor from salting and fermenting. When it comes to my quick kimchi, it's a very flavorful salad with a bright red dressing of gochukaru, which is a Korean red pepper powder. It's the main ingredient, I would say, after the cabbage in kimchi. Technically, in Korean cuisine, these would be called muchims. This is one of my favorite preparations. So for this recipe, I like to use Persian cucumbers. This it's kind of a, it's, it's pretty. It's like a straight line, but the dressing sort of slides right off. And this is the fun part. I take the back of my knife, just sort of crush it. And it kind of becomes like this. It creates these craggy edges. And that makes sure that the dressing really adheres to that surface. Some people do this, which is really messy. And they look like a mess, but they taste amazing. And the salt, it helps to draw out the water, which is fabulous in a martini, and that's the main reason we're doing this. Just kidding, uh, but vegetables are so watery. When you take out the water, it actually makes them crunchier. Let them drain, and that's it. My mom's garlic. <laughs> It's like that meme. Um, this is not useful if you don't go through garlic as much as my family does. I like to go ahead and mellow out the garlic in some vinegar. My mom uses this very strong concentrated vinegar and I think there aren't many vinegars like it. So this dressing calls for some gochukaru, this gorgeous stuff. This is a kind of genius container, like a protein shake kind of uh, container, but my mom uses it for gochukaru. You can see it's really sweet, really fragrant. It's going to add so much flavor to your food. Just go find it and you'll figure out so many ways to use it. It's so delicious. My mission in life is to make it famous, <laughs> if possible. I'm like really going to the weeds here. But... I think fish sauce is a really important ingredient in this to kind of mimic that kimchi flavor. Kimchi has a lot of chokka, salted seafood. This kind of umami funkiness is what really, really makes this dish wonderful. Toasted sesame oil really just, for me, when I add it to any kind of dish, it reminds me of um, my childhood. I'm like, this tastes more Korean now. Whenever my mom would take a bite of stew and she would just like take a bite of it and then kind of like go like, <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> it always says, oh, kosohada. And that's a really good compliment. It means that it's super nutty, tasty, lip smacking. Some granulated sugar adds some balance. I think with Korean food, one of the most delicious things about the flavor profiles is that it's salty, sweet, umami, sharp, add whatever sweetener you like. It just needs a little sweetness to kind of like round it out. I mean, I really think you could just make this and dress some noodles with it. You can skip the vegetables entirely. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That is lovely. Oh, look how green that is. I, I think it's kind of nice to, you know, wipe off some of the moisture. Do that. Maybe I won't do it so far up because it will splatter all over my clothes. If you grew up in a Korean household with a Korean mom, then you know exactly what these are. They are, <laughs> it's just like this very iconic image um, of my mom like like this and, and mixing with her hands. A nice way to make sure you're massaging the dressing into it. It's really clung on to the cucumber beautifully. Whoa. Mm -mm -mm. This is also something my mom would do a lot on trips, like a dressing, like something like this, so that we could have a kimchi-like thing wherever we were in the world as a family. And you saw how quickly this was to come together. It's a really awesome thing to make right before your guests arrive. And I think that looks fab. Oh! <laughs> Mm. 
I think the moral of the story is that you can mucho basically everything. You can, you can do this with so many things. Fennel has this really lovely anise kind of licorice flavor, kimchi-like tomato flavor with some soft rice noodles. I think fruits work really well with this because a bite of like sweetness underneath is a really lovely counterpoint to the dressing. It's, it's up to you. You should try the vegetables that you like and then um, decide you know, how you want to eat them with your meal. I'm gonna make a martini. I think it's time. Cheers. Oh, that's so good. This is becoming a martini video now. My producer's like, oh god, stop.